Welcome back to our Jewels of Europe River Cruise with Scenic and one of Germany's oldest and much loved cities, Cologne. Cologne's history dates back almost 2,000 years to Roman times and like most European cities, it's seen both good and darker times. But its location in Western Europe has been a mecca for travellers and today is one of Germany's most popular places to visit. With over 20,000 visitors a day, the majestic Cologne Cathedral is the city's most popular tourist destination. A world heritage sandstone marvel that is both Northern Europe's largest Gothic cathedral and the world's highest twin spire church. Construction on the cathedral began in the 13th century and wasn't completed until 1880. The grand Gothic architecture was designed to house the remains of what is thought to be the Three Wise Men, and their shrine has been a major drawcard for pilgrims ever since. Strolling along the 144 metre aisle, the cathedral's imposing architecture unfolds with its striking stained glass windows and the medieval choir stalls. Cologne is a truly walkable city, and just a few minutes stroll from the cathedral, you'll find the cafe and restaurant hub. And apparently, Peter's Brauhaus is the place to lunch. It seems in every city in Europe, there's a food specialty, and in Germany, it also includes beer. In Cologne, I'm told you must try a Halberhahn and a Kelsch beer. And by the looks of it, we've got Gouda cheese, some red onion, some fresh bread, and a fresh beer. <laughs> cologne is also famous for its scent. In fact, the very first Eau de Cologne perfume was created here in 1709 by Italian expat Johann Maria Farina. Today, the Farina Fragrance Museum offers a blend of history and retail therapy for the city's ultimate souvenir. Do you want to smell it? Oh, absolutely. For both male and female? Yes, it's the same. Uh, when the, uh, at the time it was created, there was no male and female smell, so it's both for ma men and women. Yeah, I can actually smell. It's very neutral for both. Who were some of the famous people that used it? Uh, depending who you like, uh, Napoleon was there, Oscar Wilde was there, Marlene Dietrich was there, yeah, famous German actress. Yes, so absolutely. So I'm smelling like Napoleon right yes, now. Yes, like Oscar Wilde. Back on board the ultra luxury of scenic Jasper and most of the suites offer a full length balcony to take in the views. Not to mention queen sized cozy scenic slumber beds. Now what I love most about this ship is each cabin comes with its own butler service, taking care of any of your whims from a champagne breakfast on the balcony, pressing your clothes, anything your holiday heart desires. Now that's something I could get used to. The spaceship has been designed to maximise guest comfort and well-being, with a state-of-the-art gym, luxurious day spa, and even a salt relaxation room. There's also an extensive selection of dining options, from five-star menus, in-suite meals, and the more casual vibe of the River Cafe. This food is delicious. And what I love about this cruise is that every meal you are delivered a different view, sometimes from a different country. 